Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be sharing my favorites from September. So these are all of the things that I used and wore the most throughout the month. And if you can't tell, we are in a new space. So the last time I filmed, we were in our old apartment and we have moved. If you missed my blog post, I did an entire update. I'll link it down below in case you missed it. But I'm so excited to share this space with you guys. I have a lot of ideas and things that I'm working on. I finally have a filming room so I can leave my light set up. I can leave my camera camera up um, and yeah it just makes things a lot easier. I apologize for being kind of MIA for a little while for this past couple of weeks. I've been super busy with moving right before we moved. We had family visiting and then right the day after we moved into our apartment I got sick. So if I sound a little bit nasally that's why but anyways I wanted to share what I've been wearing a lot this month and a few new favorites with you guys so I guess I will go ahead and get started. All right I'm gonna start first with these new booties that I got from Ann Taylor. Now I have a thing for studs. Anytime I see studded details, I have to have it. My dog is snoring underneath me. So if you hear something, he's, I don't want, I don't have the heart to wake him. So he's just gonna snore away. Uh, but <laughs> I have a thing for studs. Anytime I have some Ted Baker boots that I got last year that have studs, but I don't know, it's just a really fun, unique detail that immediately dresses up an item. And these I fell in love with. I got them during a 40% off sale. And uh, yeah, I just think that they'll look great with skirts, with jeans, with pants. And I can't wait to start wearing them. I actually just got them and I'm already including them in a favorites video. So these are not something that I have been wearing a ton, but they will be worn a ton. If you saw my last favorites video, I was talking about how I wanted to get more creative with my jewelry. I tend to get in jewelry ruts where I wear the same thing over and over and over again. And I found these Lisi Lurch earrings. They actually reached out to me and asked if I wanted to try a couple of pairs. So I chose these that I'm wearing, which I love so much. They are definitely different for me. I typically wear studs and smaller earrings, but I just love these for when I have on a white blouse, which you guys know I wear white blouses a lot. So something that is just a little bit more of a basic type of top. I think having a big earring like this is really nice. I have have these in a clip on so they just clip on they're not very heavy but they do feel bulky on your ears so just keep that in mind but they don't weigh my earlobes down um, if you know what I'm talking about but I did get these in the clip on version I also got this pair these are called ginger so these are in gold these are beautiful I'll put a link for the website down below for you guys but yeah these are just beautiful earrings they have tons and tons or she has tons and tons of different styles to choose from um, but these are the two that I really like. I only have a couple of beauty products to mention this month because I haven't really been trying anything new. Everything's been in boxes. However, I have been using my L'Occitane Shea Butter Hand Cream like crazy. When I'm unpacking boxes, my, hand gets, my hands get really dry from touching cardboard. So this has been going everywhere with me. Um, I also have it in the almond version as well, but I like the Shea a little bit better. I think it's a bit more hydrating. And then this is something that I've only had for about a week now, but I am obsessed. If you guys are new to my channel, then you um, probably haven't heard me talk about the Elemis Pro Collagen Cleansing Balm. It's one of my go-to skin product, skincare products. It's just a beautiful cleanser, balm cleanser. It's very hydrating. It's very balancing. It removes makeup really well. And they have infused it with rose, which rose is one of my favorite skincare ingredients and just all-time favorite fragrances. I love anything that smells like roses and this balm is amazing and it's a huge jar of this. I saw them talk about this on their Insta stories. I think it was earlier this year, but it was only available in the UK, but they have brought it to the US and guys, if you like rose, if you're obsessed with rose like me, then you have got to try this version of the Pro, Co Pro Collagen Cleansing Balm. It's just amazing. This cold is making me, I feel like I sound so strange, so whatever. I wanted to share what I wore for our wedding anniversary with you guys in case you missed my blog post. This is a jumpsuit. Now, I am not typically a jumpsuit person. I'm five feet tall and I find that they can make me look really boxy or I just feel short in them for some reason. Um, but this one 
one was made really well. The pants weren't, the um, the legs weren't too wide. I mean, they're pretty wide, but once you put a heel on, it's very elongating. I liked how they ha it has a sash around the waist. This will be really beautiful to wear to a wedding. It's great for work. You could dress it up or down with flats. You can pair it with a blazer, um, but the sleeves are really pretty too. They have this scalloped edge detail, but it's one of those things that's a classic. It's a staple. It can be worn for so many different occasions. Just a really great piece to have in your wardrobe. I have this new cardigan from Loft that I have been wearing a ton this month. My desk is right under an air vent, so I get really cold inside. And I like this because it's not too bulky, but it keeps you really warm. The fabric is very soft, kind of has a little bit of a stretch to it. I love that it has this heathered effect, so it gives it a little more depth. I also like that it's an open front, so it doesn't have any buttons or anything. It's very elongating with this open front like this and without the pockets on the side. So it doesn't add extra weight around your hips. And I believe it comes in a couple of other colors as well, but it's just really soft and cozy. In the fall, I like to shop for blazers with different textures, so whether that be a tweed or plaid, and this herringbone blazer from Loft really stood out to me, partially because I loved the colors. I'm really into this plum, wine, and burgundy, um, different shades like that for fall. And I love the texture of this. It looks a lot more expensive than it is. It's not too heavy either, so if you live someplace a little bit warmer like me, this is a great option um, because the fabric isn't too thick, but it just looks really great with skirts. I have a cognac skirt. I actually have an entire video coming up all about fall pieces for business casual looks so be on the lookout for that and I'll share that I'll actually show you guys that skirt in that video but yeah this is just a really great piece for fall it's a really nice blazer with great texture this time I saved the best for last and if you follow me on Instagram you've probably seen me being a huge fangirl over this but it is Reese Witherspoon's new book whiskey in a teacup I have been anticipating this release for such ever since she announced it um, I just think that she's amazing I love everything she stands for. Her line Draper James is amazing. So I knew that this book was going to be really great too and I'm from South Carolina so all of this is very relatable to me. It's very nostalgic. Her relationship with her grandmother reminds me a lot of mine. If you're from the South then this is a really cute book and even if you're not you can learn how to be like how to hot roller your hair which is something that I had happen to me. My mom would always hot roll my hair when I was little. It's just such a cute book and who doesn't love Reese Witherspoon? Um, so yeah this is one of my very, very, very favorites from this month. So that's it for my favorites from this month. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for being patient with me while we've been moving and things have been a little bit sporadic here on my channel. I promise I'll get back into the swing of things into a regular schedule very soon. I have lots to share with you guys, but if you want to keep up with me throughout the week and in between uploads, I'll link my blog and my Instagram down below. And let me know what some of your favorites have been. I always like hearing your favorites as well. So let me know in the comments. But I love you guys, and I will see you in my next video. Mm -hmm.